Welcome back. Uh, this is part 269 on our tutorial on animating a jump. We're almost done. Let's just take a quick look to see if anything can be polished up. Okay, so that's looking great. Uh, but for the end pose here, let's just uh, straighten out the feet. Actually, let's even just reset all the positions and rotations on those. Perfect. You can think of the rig's default pose as its natural state, so putting the controllers back to zero is a great way to get a natural feeling pose. You'll notice this also makes the pose nice and symmetric. Hmm. Let me just... Uh... As I was saying, uh, symmetry in poses is very important because it makes for a nice clean... Hmm. Well, some rigs can be a bit tricky. Well, let's just pull this back. Uh, as I was saying, uh, this rig can be a little hard to... Whoops. Uh, just one moment. Okay, so for the next step we're gonna select the whole rig and go up to edit and press delete. Unless the rig wants to be cooperative. Okay, um, so now for this next step we're gonna need to... Uh, what? Oh, this won't end well. <sighs> Alright. Alright, um, so this pose looks fine as it is. And that is the end of part 269 of this tutorial. We're making some good progress. It should only be about another 50 or so lessons to finish the animation. And part 270 will continue cleaning up the poses.